In July 2025, Britain quietly achieved a world first in drone warfare. During a series of live fire trials in Utah, BAE Systems successfully fired a laser-guided 70mm APKWS missile from the Malloy T-150 quadrotor drone. The tests hit both an aerial drone and a ground vehicle, with no reported misses. This wasn't just a hardware demonstration. It marked the first known use of a rotary drone, one that lifts like a helicopter and doesn't rely on fixed wings to launch precision-guided munitions. So, in today's video, we're taking a closer look at the T-150 armed drone, how it evolved, what makes this test significant, and what it means for the future of low-cost air defense. Let's dive in. The T-150 is an electric vertical takeoff and landing drone originally developed by Malloy Aeronautics, a UK-based company known for producing heavy lift quadcopters. In 2024, BAE Systems acquired Malloy and brought the T-150 into its Falcon Works division, where it has since been adapted for military use, including modular weaponization and precision strike capability. With a payload capacity of up to 68 kilograms, the drone was initially used in logistics roles, including cargo drops and resupply missions at sea. It can fly at speeds of up to 30 meters per second and cover distances of around 70 kilometers. The version used in the July 2025 test was modified to carry the Advanced Precision Kill Weapon System, or APKWS. This is a 70 millimeter laser-guided rocket developed as a cost-effective alternative to larger missiles. Each unit costs around $22,000 and can hit targets with a reported margin of error of less than one meter. Though originally designed for helicopters and jets, the APKWS is compact and accurate enough to be mounted on smaller platforms, making it ideal for drones like the T-150. The live fire demonstration took place at Dugway Proving Ground in the U.S. state of Utah. The T-150 successfully struck both an airborne target and a stationary ground target using APKWS rockets, achieving what BAE officials described as zero misses during the test. According to Jaynes, this was the first documented instance of a rotary drone launching and scoring hits with guided missiles. The weapon kit used during the test was fully modular and could be removed within an hour, allowing the drone to revert to its original transport or surveillance role. This wasn't just another drone test. It marked the arrival of a new type of battlefield tool, one that's low cost, easily adaptable, and surprisingly lethal. For the first time, a drone that takes off and lands vertically using rotors rather than wings successfully fired a precision-guided missile. That sets it apart from the larger fixed-wing combat aerial vehicles typically associated with strike operations. This matters because it shows how far modular drone technology has come. The T-150 wasn't built from scratch as a missile platform. It was originally designed to carry water bottles, ammunition, or surveillance gear. The fact that it can now be reconfigured for direct attack missions shows the growing flexibility of rotary UAV systems. In just a few hours, it can shift from delivering cargo to delivering firepower. But the significance goes beyond flexibility. This kind of low-cost, rapidly reconfigurable platform is exactly what modern militaries are looking for as they face increasingly complex drone threats. In Ukraine and other recent conflicts, large-scale drone attacks have overwhelmed air defense systems. Shooting down a $2,000 drone with a $150,000 interceptor is not sustainable. APKWS rockets, at a tenth of the cost, provide a much more practical solution. The T-150's test showed that drones don't need to be expensive fixed-wing aircraft to carry out precision strikes. They can be small, electric, and still effective. The platform also fits into tight spaces and doesn't require a runway giving it a significant logistical advantage in contested environments. It can be launched from ship decks, small clearings, or even moving vehicles. 
BAE has already confirmed growing interest in the T-150 from UK, US, and European military clients. What makes the platform even more appealing is its plug-and-play design. Weapon kits, ISR payloads, or cargo racks can all be swapped out depending on mission needs. That kind of flexibility could allow frontline units to field a mix of drones for different tasks, all based on the same airframe. In response to security concerns, BAE is also shifting production of key components, including electric motors, away from Chinese suppliers and back to UK facilities. This move aligns with broader Western efforts to reduce dependency on foreign parts for critical defense technology. Looking ahead, BAE has hinted at expanding the system's capabilities, possibly including autonomous target tracking, expanded multi-rocket payloads, and more robust battlefield integration. The T-150 might also serve as a testbed for future air-to-air -air interception technologies aimed specifically at drone swarms. Ultimately, the July test in Utah showed that rotary drones are no longer just flying pack mules or camera platforms. With guided rockets, they're entering the fight, and doing so at a price point that's difficult to ignore. So, what do you think? Will multi-role drones like the T-150 become standard tools for modern armed forces, or are we still in the early stages of their adoption? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video insightful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for the latest defense news and analysis.